Today I'd like to do a video on vehicle emergency escape tools. These tools have two main functions to them. The first function is to be able to cut through your seat belt to allow you to escape. And then the sec second function is to be able to break through uh, the tempered glass side windows of your vehicle and then allow you to escape through the window. So there's uh, two main designs that I'm going to uh, be showing in this video, although I'm going to be uh, focusing on one of them. There's the Life Hammer style design. The Life Hammer was the first one to come out. This is actually a knockoff version to the Life Hammer. And I'm actually going to feature the rescue me keychain vehicle emergency escape tool uh, which is the one that I prefer right now so I really like this one uh, due to the size I used to carry them on my uh, keychain and also on backpacks and things like that I eventually settled that uh, that I wanted to have them in the vehicle at all times at easy access so uh, originally I only had one and then my wife said well what about me so now I include one for each adult that I anticipate for being in the vehicle and the best thing about these uh, uh, the rescue me is that it comes with a, a visor clip that allows you to attach it to the visor of your vehicle so you could quickly grab it in case of an emergency if the car is on its side if it's upside down it'll always be there right above you and so uh, that's what I eventually settled on so let's deep dive now into the rescue me vehicle emergency escape tool so the Rescue Me features a spring-loaded uh, window punch on it. Again, it's designed to puncture through tempered glass windows, and you want to make sure that you do it on the front corner of the tempered glass. That's the, the weak point that'll make it shatter very easily. So the Rescue Me is, again, spring-loaded, so rather than have a hammer where you have to, you know, actually use it like a hammer, uh, you might be in a situation where you can't do that necessarily. Maybe your arms hurt or something, or it's tied up a little bit. With the Rescue Me, all you basically have to do is uh, push it against it, and it's going to uh, puncture it with a little, uh, you know, little pointy thing. Thing that's going to break the window basically so uh, I don't know if I could simulate that with my fingers but uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a, a junkyard and we're going to uh, break a window to go with a strap and do it from the interior portion of the car uh, in the past few window breaking videos that I've done I've done it on the outside of the car I want to be uh, simulate it more on what it would be like in a real situation so we're going to be uh, pressing the rescue me up in the corner of the window uh, cutting the seat belt and trying to get out of that window then so we'll film all of that so uh, again with the visor clip it allows you to, you know, able to, you could use the, the rescue clip, the rescue me, uh, while it's still in the visor, although let's just take it out really quick. So to take it out, you just uh, take off this little, the keychain kind of uh, lanyard here, and then you kind of slide it through like that. So uh, I'll put links to all these in the description box below if you're interested in them. So uh, I get them from Amazon, and you, I actually buy them in bulk because it's a little bit cheaper. And then it just goes like that, goes on your visor. Alright, so as you saw, that razor blade just went right through that seat belt like butter, so it works very, very well. Alright, so the junkyard gave me approval to break one of the windows and pay for it, uh, but they didn't necessarily want me going inside of the vehicle to do it to simulate actually using the Rescue Me in a real emergency situation just because all the vehicles are uh, off their tires and they didn't want any kind of safety type things. So I'm going to have to break the window from the outside. That's still okay with me. Same, same strategy though, just a tempered glass in the front corner of the window. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this vehicle preps video featuring the Rescue Me vehicle emergency escape tool. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to use this in an actual vehicle uh, to break the glass from inside the vehicle to simulate that, uh, but I had to follow the junkyard rules. So if anyone has an old jalopy vehicle that you'd like me to break the window out of, uh, please contact me and I'd be glad to come over there uh, to help you out with that. Uh, so in summary, I think this works really well. It's very small in size. I really like the visor clip. It makes it very, so it's very uh, convenient to be able to access at any point uh, while you're in your vehicle. 
and I think both the seat belt cutter and uh, the steel spike that, that punctures the tempered glass, it's a self-centering spike, so it looks like it's a little off-center when you look inside of it, but it self-centers and applies 12 pounds of pressure uh, to that tempered glass. So I think both of those work really well. Uh, make sure with the seat belt cutter, when you're cutting the seat belt, uh, don't just do it perpendicular on the seat belt, do it at a 45 degree angle. I think that's how Rescue Me uh, describes on how you should actually use it. So I'm gonna provide, uh, it costs a little bit more to buy the visor clip individually than it does in a combo. I think the visor clip's around five to six bucks and the Rescue Me is about eight to nine dollars. Uh, if you buy them individually, you could get them in a combo for I think around 12 to 13 dollars. So I'll put links to all those in the description box below if you wanna check this out. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Stay tuned for the next vehicle preps video and leave your comments below in the comment section. So since I wasn't able to do this in the junkyard, let's just do it in my vehicle for right now. Although we'll pretend that we're gonna break the glass. So again, we're gonna be using the Rescue Me to cut the seatbelt, 45 degree angle. And then we're gonna be using that steel spike with the 12 pounds of pressure with the, uh, to puncture the tempered glass in the corner. You can see over there. And we'll get out the window. So leave your comments below in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you.